<laughs> what um, just how excited are you for this opportunity? You guys get here on media day and camp begins tomorrow. You've had a little bit of time to get familiar. Just mm -hmm. what's your early impressions of this roster? Yeah, I'm super excited, man. They did a great job putting this team together. I think we got some really great pieces. Um, I think it's going to be a fun and exciting year for sure. So about the Timberwolves, <laughs> uh, how is the ankle, just how far away do you feel like you are? Yeah, no, it feels good. For me to be a week out from tomorrow, um, it feels it feels good, better than I expected. So I should be good soon. Your three-point shooting took a big jump last year. W what changed for you? Was it the way you shot it, what you were doing? Like, what, what was it for you this year? Yeah, just, just getting more reps in in the summer, um, just different looks. and. That was the biggest thing, just more reps and just carrying that over, being more confident in my shot and just my mechanics, just following through. And one release, sometimes I do two motions on my release, so just really focusing in on that and locking in. And your deflections were really high, too, for mm -hmm. the amount of minutes you were getting. Like, as an undersized guy going mm -hmm. up against some of these big guys in the league, like, what, what's your mindset out there defensively? I just got to be a pest. I got to change the game, uh, speed up the, the offensive team. Uh, that's a big thing for me. So picking up 94 feet, uh, using my arms, using my length, using my quickness to, to get around these bigger guards and, and bigger guys in the league. The role that you had with Minnesota, especially last year, do you feel will it be similar to this season in your estimation, or do you feel like it was a, a bigger a bigger plate for you? Uh, I think I think both. You know, I think what I do and what I can bring to this team will be good, and uh, it seems like I'll have a little bit more offensive uh, opportunity here. Um, so I'm super excited and um, excited to see what I can do to help this team win. Are you looking forward to having so many guys that not only can draw a crowd but they can pass? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, playing against Domas, Fox, DeRozan, too, as well. He's a willing passer as well. So super excited to be around these guys. And uh, the way we play, I think everybody will be sharing the ball. It should be multiple nights where we have five, six, seven guys in double digits, I believe. What is your... pretty massive ascension in the, in the West last year with the Timberwolves. Now trying to bring that same thing over to the Kings. Looking at where this roster is, do you think you guys are primed for kind of mm -hmm. that same kind of jump? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think we have uh, some really great pieces. Um, it's just all about putting it together like a puzzle. Um, but I think we definitely have the opportunity to be a top one to four seed in the, in the West for sure. What went into that ascension in Minnesota that you were kind of bringing to Sacramento and sharing with these guys, hey, this is what we need to do in order to get there? Yeah, just our consistency. Um, and that's on and off the court. Um, you know, all the little things, uh, traveling, uh, what we have food-wise at the hotel, like all of that stuff plays a part, uh, believe it or not. And then as far as on the court, just, you know, everybody buying into their roles, offensively, defensively, whatever the team needs you to bring in for that day, uh, you know, bring it in at, at the best you can, whether that's cheering for your teammate or going out there, just guarding the best guy, knocking down open shots, whatever it is, just do do your best that you can at that role. What was, what was your free agent process like and what ultimately led you coming to SAC? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it happened kind of quick, you know, you, you hear things one day and then four hours later you hear another thing, three hours later you hear another thing. Um, but once we had got the call and the opportunity uh, to come here, with me and my agent, we discussed it and my family as well. Uh, we just felt like it would be a great situation for us um, right now at the time that I'm at and going forward. And, you know, we got a great opportunity here with this team. How much did that trade the other day take you by surprise? Uh, it took everybody by surprise. <laughs> yeah, it took, uh, it took everybody by surprise. It took me by surprise. Um, so I uh, was excited to see what they do with that, uh, both sides. And it was interesting. And you get them three times out of the gate in uh -huh. the short December. <laughs> I mean, is, is that a good time to get them when they're trying to still put everything together? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. I was telling somebody earlier today, you know, usually you got to circle that on your schedule later on in the season. But like you said, we get them first and then uh, a little bit before Thanksgiving as well, too. So super excited for that matchup. You had the second yes, possible task of guarding De'Aaron Fox before, mm -hmm. getting able to play now alongside him and behind him. What can you share just your perspective of trying to stop that guy? And yeah, to it's, it's super tough. You know, he's so fast. He's so skilled, so talented. He can shoot. He can drive. He can pass. He can do everything. So I uh, was super excited to, you know, pick his brain and guard him in practice as well. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, everybody.